But welcome, you guys. Hi. Thank it's you. so good to have you. Nice Great to having be. you. Yeah. I'm joined here with Taylor and James nice with the AI Hub here in Kansas City, which, um, if you guys know me a little bit more, um, I love community building. I love just community foundational pieces. Mm -hmm. And um, the moment I heard what you guys got going on, I got really excited because if there's anybody who really, really needs the community um, spaces and just community to be formed around them, it's artists. And um, yeah, so that's why I'm really excited to have you guys here because that's what Yay! you guys are doing. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. So I feel like I should clap. Yeah. <laughs> just one. <laughs> just one. Yeah, just one. <laughs> I like that. But my understanding is you guys just, you have a space mm -hmm. down there in the River Market in yeah. Kansas City that offers a multitude of platforms to all kinds of artists. Yeah. How about you guys? You guys, you guys could give yeah, the pitch you better you than me. <laughs> you do it. I'm good. So um, the AI Hub, and a lot of people don't know this, they're like, oh, AI, artificial intelligence. We actually were called the Art Incubator. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for trademark purposes, we had to, you know, transition a little. Yeah, okay. So cool. the AI Hub literally is an art incubator that houses four separate hubs and or resources, provides opportunities to artists and entrepreneurs to scale and reach their goals. So we have like photography studio, okay. sound recording studio. We have an apparel and design hub. And we also have a digital design hub that has virtual reality. So through all of our member pools and through all of our networks, we really big on paid opportunities. So do you kind of want to explain the paid opportunity stuff? Yeah, um, we just try to get people pay gigs because, like, <laughs> long story short, it's like you you it's paid. hard, you know. Well, it's not hard, <laughs> but oh, no. you know, yeah. it's <laughs> mm -hmm. some somebody that's purely focused on trying to get something good for you could probably yeah. go a lot further than you know, yeah. you know, trying to put several eggs in a lot of baskets. So try our best. So yeah, honestly, I like really appreciate hearing that as an artist, especially an independent artist who has to, like work with contracts mm -hmm. and. Yeah. And uh, just valuing your own work, um, it's nice to have someone just have your back a little bit and be like, don't go mm -hmm. further than or lower than this number. Exactly. Yeah. And that's, that's like that. actually kind of why we started. So when we, we both went to college in Atlanta, we stayed there for a mm -hmm. while after and we had our individual businesses mm -hmm. and like it's it's tough, especially when you're starting out and you really don't know what you're doing and you can get clients and all, but when you have those moments where it's kind of like a dry spell and you have no clients, like, okay, so what do I do? Like, yeah. who do I talk to? Like, how do I network? How do I get paid? Like, rent is due. What am I going to do? <laughs> yeah. I had a moment where I just, like, was driving to work. I used to work at a magazine, and I'm like, I am about to go crazy. Yeah. And I just up and quit my job, like, and just gung-ho in entrepreneurship. And it's just, like, it's a 9 to 5. Actually, no, it's a 24-7 365 mm. kind of grind and when you're constantly trying to make customers happy and then get new customers like it's a lot mm. so we really just want to make that process easier of connecting the dots for people and getting them paid through the most efficient process and making sure we also like trust their quality of work too mm. so we don't <laughs> so so bad <laughs> Like, mm. That's real. That's yeah. Real. And if you and if we yeah. think that like sometimes there's some things that are missing in people's artistry, we also mm. like try to provide them with educational opportunities. Okay, cool. Have training mm. courses and stuff like that. So yeah. Yeah. It's like a like a workshop as well mm. as as yeah. this space. Cool. Is that how you came up with the idea? Um yeah. is through your own kind of artistry? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just we you start out with like a whole lot of inspiration and a whole lot of like gumption to do something and it's like okay slow down you only have like a laptop and a mouse and like two softwares i like we want people to expedite that process a little bit um if they could to you know learn something and get progressively better at it if you choose to mm -hmm. and have like the tools to do it so mm -hmm. like yeah that's what we would have wanted. Yeah. I had the laptop and the mouse, and I was like, <laughs> I'm going to get this right. So, yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'm going to get this yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. And then all yeah. I had was literally a camera, and I would go to you helped me with like introducing me to better softwares and stuff. So, oh, yeah. yeah. When we, we joined forces in what was that, 2019? We merged our businesses yeah. together to form Iris Creative Projects Agency, which is our parent company. Mm -hmm. So we were like, okay, if we could provide people with the available resources, the space, mm -hmm. the equipment, and just make like a one-stop shop, then life would just get easier for everybody. So yeah, 
That, yeah. That was just like, we have to do this for our people. And like, there's so, during COVID especially, there's so many businesses that were starting because people wanted different ways to like make money. You know, mm-hmm. we got to, you know, stuff still has to right. run in our lives. You still have to pay bills and buy groceries. And so all the businesses that were created, hundreds of businesses also failed. So it was just like, how can we kind of avoid those failures and provide everybody with what they need to keep their businesses going? So, you know, we want to really steer people on the right track, whether it's entrepreneurship, whether you're just like a painter, an illustrator, animator, whatever it is. We just really want to like make everything more efficient and profitable for people. Cool. Is the AI Hub a COVID baby? Yes. It is. Yeah. Wow. It's a COVID baby. We COVID opened, baby? yeah, we opened it. like a kind of. It, okay, Post we opened COVID in baby on the very cusp of edge, you know, like so you we count? I don't we know. technically got into our space in like June or July of twenty twenty two two twenty two. Mm-hmm. We're very yeah. very recent. Like we haven't yeah. even had a been. It hasn't even been a full year because we did our official opening in September. Yeah. Our dates. That was Everything's September. happened all yeah. over. Wow. Yeah. So we haven't even been there for a full year yet. It's opened in September. September. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So we've made a lot of progress. Yeah. In just a that's few amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. A lot of things. Yeah. People don't yeah. realize that we just opened. I did so. not get that at all. I yeah. felt like you guys have been around for a while. Oh, How did you guys get good. that space down there in the river? Oh. Because <laughs> I mean, you tell me. I don't know. <laughs> right? <laughs> I have no so idea. we did have a real estate <laughs> agent. Yeah. Uh, her name is Paquita. Shout out. Shout out, Bikini. Um, yeah, and absolutely. when she was uh, in high school, college, she I'm not sure. younger than she is now. <laughs> that was what it was. Okay. Oh, Cut that part off. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, it used to be like a modeling agency, I guess, and then it yeah. was a call center, and then she just knew of the space and knew it had been available for a really long time. So she was like, let's just go check it out. When we got there, no offense to the owners, but it no was offense. like terrible. It was pretty terrible. Yeah, yeah there was, was still like the call center booths in there, like old phones. It was yeah. dusty. It was like really? a bell, like when you make a call like, or yeah, a sale. Yeah, like, I wanted go. to keep the bell yeah. so bad, yeah. but like when we got in there, we we're like, man, this is a spot. Yeah. Like, yeah, this is it. It was nice. Um, and then we got rejected. Really? Yeah, we got rejected. We definitely got rejected. And we were like, like dang. Well, so then we started looking in legends. And, not Legends, the Plaza. We started oh, looking in yeah. the Plaza, and we we're like, "We'll just find a place here." And we looked at a, a really cool spot, two floors. Um, and you then they called us the back, yeah. and mm-hmm. they were like, "Just kidding." I was like, "Oh, that means somebody fell through." Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. this is our shot. Yeah. And they didn't quite like understand our vision for everything, but we were like, "As I mean, we got it. Yeah. Like, trust us, we yeah. got it." Uh-huh. And we just all hands on deck. You, yeah. James, wasn't even there when we moved oh, in. Yeah, yeah, wow. like, I was in Detroit. He was yeah. in Detroit doing yeah. shoe designing. Um, so I it was kind of like on the phone every yeah, day. Like, like, what's hey, going on? This, yeah. this. Like, it was a lot of work. And we have a baby. She just turned two. So it was like oh a lot at once. Oh, my Yeah, it was a lot yeah. at once. Two-year-old and a business stuff, that man. just opened in September. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> it was a lot. Yeah. A lot happening. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we made it happen because we just knew, like, our, we, we feel, when you know we feel it in your chest and you're uh-huh. like, I have to do this and if I don't, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what it felt like. We have to open it. Our chances now. Yeah. yeah. We don't have all the answers. It was like a good yeah. opportune moment. We got to do it, yeah. 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 So. Um, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I feel it kind of off yeah. you guys. Yeah. Just like it feels like something's working, that yeah. the gears something's are turning well. like yeah. really well. Yeah. So that's just, that's awesome to hear. It's crazy to me because I was just in your guys' space mm-hmm. not too long ago. Mm-hmm. And like that, I didn't get any sort of feeling. Like that felt <laughs> like a very new, like nice, clean right. space. Thank you. Oh, thank you. How did you guys feel about carrying out the phone booths? And oh, oh my, my gosh, that was, that was <laughs> fun. I guess, stressful. yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, ran, random fact: we do have like a lot of like phones. They're just like, hidden, like They're call hidden. center phones, like enough to like start another call center. We yeah, have like they, they work. <laughs> I think they do. Oh my but you God. still have to connect them to the wall, uh-huh. like in you know whole Ethernet cord system, okay. and they just kind of left them there. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do with these? It's like someday cool. people are gonna use them again. I'm like, I don't know about are that. they? I don't uh, know. I don't know. Back in a year. Um, know. but making <laughs> making a lot of calls and like negotiating back and forth with like the owners and kind of saying like, hey, like please, can you move this out? Can you move this out? When we moved in, there was even a hole in the ceiling that wasn't oh, there when yeah. we viewed it, and we we're like, what the heck? 
So just like That's constantly true. staying on track of the people that we're communicating with to make stuff happen. And then the rest is just us. Like yeah. we did the painting, had furniture companies, yeah. moving stuff around, um, yeah. building stuff together with our hands. Like a lot of that equipment, like me, yeah. James, and my brother would equipment. just sit on the floor and mm-hmm. just like, Go. Yeah. half of it, wow. we had to redo. My- <laughs> <laughs> That's a couple of things. Yeah, like yeah. not everything's perfect, yeah. I promise, but a lot of it was just like, we had to put in sweat yeah. equity to make it happen. That's amazing. That's yeah. It. Yeah, let's talk about a little bit of that about that equipment that's in there yeah, because you guys too. have like a whole spread yeah. of just what you got the the copy machine uh, the um, print machine yeah. mm-hmm. the screen printing mm-hmm. you have a like a fleet of computers for editing yeah. like oh, yeah. video photography yeah. Can you explain that yeah. yeah I mean yeah we have uh, we believe is like easy entry points for like each of these things and then you could grow on them and so when we thought about like okay if I was going to either start in apparel or say I already know my way around, but Mm -hmm. I just don't want to do this at home. You want to give like people enough time to like get some things done. Um, I imagine like going to a print shop and like, you know, I want to print some posters, but like I want to take it a little bit further now. And, um, just no place to do something like that. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So we have screen printing, heat press, hat press, Mm -hmm. Uh, for photography, we have like tripods. Yeah. You can even use the camera if you want to. Yeah. The transceiver, flash, backdrop, yeah. props. For the sound recording studio, we provide you with like all the editing software that you kind of mm-hmm. need. It's a Logic Pro, right? I think I it mean, is. We got, I think it is Logic. We got Pro. multiple dolls. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, he's, he thinks you he's come. special because he can use that word now. I'm mean, just saying. I was do. like, we have you do. dolls. You <laughs> see, like we're all coming from dolls? different. Um, like creative background. Wait, let me yeah. do this too. Oh, like, yeah. okay, so we do a lot of sound recording events, and then every time I'm like, "Are you cheating on your doll?" I'm like, <laughs> I'm "Like, these are the conversations every that are had." Okay, cool. I'm. I feel like I'm in it now. I'm hip. You heard uh, it once. We heard yeah, it. Yeah, we heard times. it many times. Many times. Yeah, and then okay, and then our apparel. We have like adjustable mannequins, sewing machines. We have. Mm. I'm missing a lot of stuff. Mm. We have a high power PC, Wacom tablet. Oh yeah. Um, that's where I will stay. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'll go with yeah. apparel too. That's his, but, like, like that's what pride and joy. Yeah. But we have just a lot of different things. I know I'm missing a lot, but like, if there's yeah. any time that people come in or like, oh, I wish you guys had this, we're like, hmm, maybe we should, maybe uh-huh. we will. Right. Yeah, so we just try to provide like the missing points. Yeah. Because yeah. even down to thread, like we have the thread yeah. crochet kits, books on how to crochet mm-hmm. for yourself. Mm-hmm. So. We really try to think of anything, but of course we don't know everything because we're not in every industry. So, right. like, we just yeah want to help out as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Theoretically, you guys could you could run a business through you guys. It mm-hmm. feels like you, especially. I mean, freelancers specifically yeah. can easily build a brand with all of the equipment that you have, yep. and yeah. then run it. Because I remember when I first came out of school, the biggest thing for me was. Well, shit, how do I pay for yeah. software, uh, just like editing software, specifically Premiere? Mm-hmm. Um, just the Adobe Creative Cloud is just a nightmare to yeah. like, it's a lot. Yeah. just like carry on your shoulders every yeah. month. Mm-hmm. And um, I've always thought that it would be a, like, why haven't, why hasn't somebody mm-hmm. like just got a bunch of computers in a room and be like, yeah. we're going to front it for you guys and you just pay You just got to yeah. pay monthly membership yeah. and just show up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. all you have to do. Show up. And that's one thing that we try to do too is like the accountability aspect is like, hey, you know, there's this opportunity if you're really serious about it, let's let's do it. Let's make it happen. Or, hey, you know, we haven't seen you here in a while. Have you been working on X, Y, Z like you said you wanted to work on? Mm-hmm. You know, so we really try to push yeah. people to like. That's a really big Yeah, thing. to stay on track yeah. with their stuff. Right. Not to be yeah. annoying, but to say like, hey, we want to see you succeed. Like, yeah. and we hope you want to succeed as much as we want to see you succeed. Mm-hmm. Um, like we even have um, two of our members mm-hmm. came on together. One is a designer yeah, a and. Well, she's also a designer and she's a professional oh, really? stylist. Ah. And then the other one is a photographer. So like they'll come in, she'll like fit her clients and everything, do a customized XYZ, go upstairs to the photography studio, do a whole thing. Yeah. And then we even have, like you said, the Adobe, full Adobe suite. Mm-hmm. You can just go down, edit your photos and just make magic happen. So Yeah. Yeah. That, They're pretty cool. Yeah, that that yeah. sounds really yeah. cool. Just like watch them. Like, and it was kind of made. <laughs> we kind of made it with that in mind to have like mm-hmm. groups or you know creatives that will want to be in a collaborative place yeah. and say we can you know kind of do this together. 
we can go across mediums and like you know just make something better that we didn't know we were gonna do so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's awesome yeah. I'm really curious to know how this idea came to be and like when <laughs> it came to be yeah. how you guys met so of course. you so you said <laughs> at school, yeah, yeah. school at Atlanta at school at Atlanta yeah are you guys from Atlanta no okay no. not wow. no are you where are you guys from I'm from Virginia Virginia yeah and um I'm from Louisiana. Wow. Yeah. He grew up in Texas, too, though. Yeah, you can't done, not I, mention that. I've done my tour of the South, so yeah. half Louisiana, half Texas. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's um, yeah. a lot of uh, country to travel for you two to meet. Yeah. yeah. And then end up Kansas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what happens, man. Yeah. yeah. So you guys both had businesses. Yeah. Yes, indeed. At the time, to- when you guys met at school in yeah. Atlanta. Yeah. Well, so, well, not, business. not before, that. Not before yeah. that. So I was um, did a lot of journalism. So I did international journalism, photojournalism. Mm-hmm. I kind of stepped away from investigative mm-hmm. and went more into entertainment. Oh, yeah. So I did like a lot of, oof, a lot mm-hmm. of everything. I was mm-hmm. even on radio at one point too. And um, I realized like, I don't, I, I was always working. Like, I was always working, always on sets, always, like, with red carpet stuff. And then when I met him, I'm like, dang, I haven't been, like, having fun in life, you know? Mm-hmm. In comes the fun. Right? Yeah. <laughs> in comes the fun. And, like, I thought I was having fun for what my, like, I was accustomed to. But he was like, no, like, let's have some fun. Let's go bit. out and just, like, random. We were even driving up here and be like, dang, if we were back in college, like, 10 p.m. We're taking naps to get ready to go out. I'm like, yeah, we were. Yeah. <laughs> Party doesn't my nap stop to till do like this 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, I'm trying to avoid the question how we met in college. <laughs> I'm gonna tell it. So, you know, that's okay. I'm gonna tell it. <laughs> Wait, I'm like, can we? Can we agree? Right? Can we agree on how we met first? Because I feel like um, you about to say some things that should be said. All right, okay. I'll I'll tell it. Well, okay, tell it. Okay, 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 okay. Media okay. training yeah. live. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> like, uh, she kept coming to my house. Man. Okay, no. She kept coming to my house, no. and I was like, "Why are you here?" You have but to come know on why in. I'm like, there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So I live in this um, house. <laughs> God, you're like a stranger. Right? <laughs> I live in this house, like I live in this house. five different people. It's like a campus house. Cool. And so like we have four four guys and one new girl moved in. You had two you her. had three girls though. Mm-hmm. You had Chelsea. Oh, you had so three never girls. mind. It was yeah. a lot of shifting. Roommates were not talking mm-hmm. before, but after this girl moved in. We're all talking. Like, we're having wow. fun. Not her. She's oh. not the one. No, yeah, she's not the one. It was my friend. My it friend. Was my friend. Where, you know, it was Colleen <sighs> smith Patikas. You know she's going to say yeah. something else. So, <laughs> so I didn't yeah. feel comfortable with her living with all these, like, random guys. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm definitely going to go up there and, like, show a face so I know what they look like. These right. are crazy. Mm-hmm. And he was the first door that was knocked on. I was like, oh, I remember him. So he was the guardian of the house. Right. Just me and everyone (laughs) else. Was he really the guardian? He would just be like chilling out. Right? (laughs) You're the one that you guard the gate, you know? Chilling out in slides watching Spongebob all day. I don't think that's the guardian of the house. If something would have happened, I would have been ready. That's all I'm saying. That's it. Guardian of the vibe. Right? That was the vibe. That's That's it. That's the vibe. And that's really what you were too. Like people wanted James around for the vibes every single time. Mm -hmm. Like the music, we would play spades. Twister, yeah. Uno, like, it was just always nice. a good vibe. And Pretty then funny. the house kind of, like, came together just like one big family. And <clears throat> we just took it a step further. <laughs> and, um... Yep. Came uh, one bigger family. Yeah. It's nice. Fast forward, fast forward. Yeah. Okay, then graduation. So, I did, like... At that time, I technically did have... My business was already started. Because I was working as, like, a production assistant, a personal assistant. Oh, yeah was doing um, uh, client photography for, like, BTS, basically, for, like, music videos and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I'm skipping a lot. (laughs) Skipping a lot of stuff. She kept coming to the house, man. That's all I'm saying. She kept coming. So, I actually... So, my my my, my grandparents had a stroke, and my mom had moved out here. Mm -hmm. So, I... She was like, please, like, come out here. And I came out for, like, what was that, a week? And I was like, I gotta go. 
I packed up my stuff, got in my car, and drove all the way back to Atlanta. To the house. Yeah. Like I'm doing. <laughs> back to the protector exactly. of the vibes. It's, it's, I don't know, Gosh. man. I don't know. Yeah, and then the rest was history. Yeah. And one of those days you came running in and you were like, I have an idea. Or was it you? Who had the the, mm. the idea first? Honestly, well, it was kind I of I remember like... it like different from you a lot of times. Because I remember driving back from like Chicago. And like being in the car and being like, Chicago. Hmm. Like, where were you in Chicago? Now I remember Iris was a different place. We get to Chicago. We were driving back from Chicago. Like, we did a whole world tour during COVID too. Oh yeah, yeah. Because nobody was like, but we're like going too fast. Wait, where did you get Chicago? We went to to Chicago Chicago? for like a weekend and like, why? Maybe it was um, Mm -hmm. concert. No. Mm -mm. Business. It was a no. baby shower. No, that was well after we had opened our business. No, oh wasn't. my gosh, yes it was. No, yeah, because our daughter was born. Yeah, she was at the baby shower. Yeah, but we that were coming back, after. and I was like writing things <laughs> down. You don't remember that? This, this, this is, is crazy. Like the multiverse. This, is really, <laughs> this <laughs> might be. All right, so no. Are you talking about so Iris? So what had happened was <laughs> we had joined forces to join our parent mm. companies together, which was Iris Creative Products Agency, and that was back in 20... Te- on paper, it was 2019, but we had technically started in like 2018. No, on paper, it's 2020. No, on paper... Oh, Because yeah. we were still just yeah, like we were contracting like, hey, <laughs> I contracted yeah. you, you contracted yeah. me type of thing. And deal. then yeah. uh, one of my cousins from Jersey came and she was staying at a hotel. We met up with her and we were telling her about uh, how we had uh, these ideas to like merge these different art forms together because I did photography. He was doing illustration, digital design. Mm-hmm. I'm like, and then my brother's interested in music and then we have this and we have that. And we're like, well, if we at least have a comfortable like amount of knowledge in these different areas, let's just start with four hubs to just, you know, start with. Told her the idea and she helped us flush it out. We were sitting at a hotel lobby at the restaurant. I do there. remember yeah. this. See, wow. there we go. But I do she remember Chicago us. too. It's weird. Wait, Maybe I am Chicago in the multiverse. So I don't much know. Longer. Oh my god. <laughs> I might so be later. not what? King the that Conqueror. Was like- I heard it's gonna be open though, so, so I could be so in a hotel room reason. lobby. Yeah, and she maybe said, in Chicago. We don't know. Oh, this was, was in Georgia. In a, it was in this Georgia. was in Georgia. <laughs> that was God, definitely in Georgia. So out left field. Know, so it, we were in the lobby and we were talking about like what should we call it? What should we call it? And we were coming up with all these names. Like mm. we even have like Isaira. I think I think was created at that time. And they, she was like, "We'll call it the Art Incubator." I'm like, "Well, duh. Well, it is a space where we're." incubating all these different art forms together mm. for artists and creatives um and then we had to change everything so yeah. when we actually open up the ai hub literally everything was called the art incubator yeah like down to our signage on everything yeah wow. <laughs> it was a lot of, um, a lot of stuff yeah but yeah shout out to my cousin robin like she definitely helped us with fleshing out the ideas and mm. making it make sense because as creatives and artists, what people tell us is it's different from being passionate and then running a business. Like running a business, you have to have numbers. You have to be able to charge people what it's actually worth mm-hmm. in order to keep the business going. But when we're, th- we're thinking about helping our community, we're like, dang, well, maybe we should do that for free. Or like, maybe we should do half the price because they really need help. And like, sometimes you, it's hard finding that balance. Mm-hmm. So... She really helped us, like, fleshing out a lot of stuff and, like, mm. making it make sense for us. Um, yeah? Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm there. there. I'm there. there. Yeah. Mentally, you're there. Okay, Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's beautiful. That sounds like a lot of work. Mm-hmm. That, I feel like that's a big, um, you know, that's the block before anything happens yeah. is just, like, facing down all that work. Mm-hmm. What do you recommend, like, people who have these ideas oh and, like, putting them into action? Well, I actually do want to answer that because I have something that I want to add that I think is super important. Sure. Um, you have to write a plan. Mm-hmm. You just yeah. have to write a plan. Like, spend days upon days just, like, writing the business plan mm-hmm. and, like, what would all go in each studio? Why would it go there? Who is even going to use this? Um, rationalizing it to, like, you know, actually find a target person. 
And that's going like a little more personal, but you just have to write a plan um, and you have to show people the plan and you have to like let people put the plan apart and then um, go back and then maybe your best thing isn't there, but like you got to let people do that. Mm -hmm. And then you like might have, it was already a good idea, but it's now a great idea. So yeah. yeah. Pen to paper. Yeah. 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 And you also can't be afraid to get your feelings hurt mm. because a great no to. no idea is original we'll also say that but it's also a matter of like if someone if you're asking somebody for advice to make it better don't be offended if they're actually like tearing apart because it's part of the process you have to. but going back to a plan i don't recommend doing what we did so we had a plan i'm like we're gonna start small we're gonna grow and we're gonna do like oh, yeah. pop-ups and festivals and mm. this and we're gonna get bigger and build a fan base in our community and then we're gonna open our spot completely different completely didn't happen opposite. Yeah. we did one pop-up and boom had a building <laughs> wow. like, oh crap <laughs> yeah. but like it, it all worked out but it's just like that was so such a rare of a situation that like if you have the opportunity that's really cool take it but definitely like build up and sometimes you may not be ready to jump so soon maybe you do need to take a few months or a few years to flesh out your ideas and that's yeah. okay yeah absolutely yeah it's on your time man yeah yeah I mean, time. I mean, time is the like, the key yeah. factor there. Is just yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just sticking with it and not letting it sort of drift away. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I touched on it earlier. I have had like issues like with money, like coming or clients coming to me or I, me going to clients, mm-hmm. and sort of like figuring out how much I'm gonna get for the work I do, mm-hmm. and I find myself like, because I feel like I have to be my biggest supporter, my biggest fan. And so I'm always valuing my work at a certain level. Mm. And anytime, you know, anytime someone says, I'm not going to pay that and like gives you a lower number, it feels like a real strike to not only your art, but like also your ego. Yeah. And um, I don't know, it becomes, I find it hard to, like swallow like bite back yeah. instead of like becoming like hyper like a protective yeah. over what you do what what is like you what do you what is your process mm-hmm. when you're like talking to your artists about getting paid and mm-hmm. how they should go about it um, i totally ask we'll tell people like ask for like what your ideal thing is um you got to ask that first. Um, you can't go into a conversation saying, all right, I'm already about to like do whatever they say, basically. You yeah. got to come through with like what you know that you're worth, not what you think. Because like, if you're thinking about it, like they're also thinking about it. So just know know what you're worth um, and stick to that. And then, um, I mean, there's not there's nothing outside of that, but just make sure that like you actually do the things that make you worthy like once you said you got that price now you got to uphold yourself to that mm-hmm. or you just what quality you say you were going to present you've got to do that now so that's why you could believe i charge this because because i, I know that i do this every single day like mm-hmm. yeah. i do this you know i do this yeah <laughs> um but like to go off of mm-hmm. what james said um somebody told us don't cut your prices you know what you're worth. The other person doesn't know the time and the effort it takes to make something of quality. So if you ever in a situation where like, well, I'm only paying this, we're like, okay, well, this is only what you're getting then. So they have to come with like realistic expectations. The thing, and that was hard for us to mm-hmm. kind of get in our head because when people were like, oh, well, I can only like pay this amount, we would still give them quadruple the amount yeah, uh, that's just in, in quality being like and service time. people, you know. Yeah, like, like, we like to serve people. Yeah, we know? come from such a service background that it's like we were working overtime for people who were only paying 25% of what the service actually cost. Yeah. And we were burning ourselves out, like answering calls at midnight. Like, why am I, why, like, yeah. Yeah, you're not even paying me. No. Yeah. So it's like really trying to understand that you are valuable. And if you don't value you, you can't expect the customer to value you. And if you budge on that, we'll say, you know, I'm so sorry to hear that. Why don't you try so-and-so? Like, I can recommend yeah. you to them. You know what I mean? So they just really have to understand that if you want quality and you want my time, you kind of have to be willing to pay for it. Now, you have to go back to what James said. Like, what is your target audience? 
our target audience, we understand, doesn't have a huge budget. And we also understand like where what our demographic is and where we're located. And we're not trying to hit people over the head. So when you go to one of our contractors and you say, well, my contractor cost this we don't change their prices if you want to choose them you can if you don't we have somebody else for you but we also value our entrepreneurs and our creatives and we're not going to force people to change their prices for us like we're never going to do that but if you do come like straight to us we'll say okay well these are prices based off of the scope of the project so we, we try to give like a variety of options for people um but we also have to understand what we're worth because mm-hmm. like we can mm-hmm. have like five clients and only one is willing to pay the true value of the client of the project and like well why don't you go to our other member who mm-hmm. does this and does that so it's really i don't know it's, it's not a game mm-hmm. but it's really like but it kind of is it kind of yeah. is yeah, yeah, it kind of yeah. is yeah and there's like so many people out here with talent that you can go to anybody and you want someone to come to you so bad. Like, I need this. I got to pay my light bill. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, was it really worth that? Mm-hmm. And we we had, oh my gosh, I'm not going to say any names, but we had a client who came back to us like two or three times. And every single time we're like, we're not working with this person anymore. We're not working with this person anymore. Mm-hmm. And we just kept doing it. I'm like, dang, what are we going to learn? Like, yeah. It's the money, at some point, the money is not worth it. Mm -hmm. If people are not valuing you as a creative, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, they're not valuing your time and your quality, then it's not. It's just really not worth it. So, it's, yeah, like you said, it's a game. It's Mm -hmm. really a game. Mm -hmm. I say, like, you could, like, use that game, though. Like, Mm -hmm. if you were, because it's also, like, it's kind of a learning lesson, like, Mm -hmm. If you were to value yourself as something, there are just more chances that you will be getting something that is a value back to you. Like Mm -hmm. now that you have these prices or now that you do this type of work, there are people that are looking for you that only want that type of exceptional work and only pay those prices and aren't used to like haggling with people. Like that's kind of like the upside to saying, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick to, you know, saying that I am of quality because... It'll come back to me. Yeah. 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 I've always said that they don't want the creatives to get creative with money. Yeah. So once we figure out that it's also a game, then, um, yeah, then I think game over, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But, um, yeah, I I wanted to talk about a little bit how, because especially in the freelance world Mm -hmm. and the freelance, like, creative world as an artist and you are being an independent contractor to clients, Mm -hmm. uh, it kind of feels like your back's up against the wall and you're by yourself and you're alone. Mm -hmm. And there's always that feeling that if you say the wrong thing, they can pull, pull out and just go to someone else because there is, there are so many talented people in this city and just in this community. But I also think that there's something there that can sort of play in the favor of the artist Mm -hmm. where, there are so many talented people that are doing the same thing that mm-hmm. want to express themselves that like kind of feel this need, this like innate need to express themselves in a specific <clears throat> way. Them, those people, those artists, those creatives building community mm-hmm. is a really, really important thing. Uh, something that can be like, say, Hey, I got your back. Like mm-hmm. I won't take that job if mm-hmm. they come to me. Mm-hmm. I mean, is that even possible? I don't know, especially in like this kind of in this country and this in this uh, um, economic climate. Yeah. Um, but I feel like you guys are kind of going into this, like not to quote a book, but brave new world of yeah. like of, yeah. of hey, why don't we start working together instead of working like competitors? Yeah, absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. It's, it makes a lot more sense for artists or any uh anything of value to like kind of collaborate on it and like make it have a larger impact and so like when artists come together they just make something completely different um they think of things differently they design things that like become like seamless like you don't know that you needed that Mm -hmm. and now it's everywhere like that's what happens when all of us come together so yeah Mm -hmm. yeah so. And and then in these spaces that we're building, like, through our events or, like, through our open days and stuff like that, mm. when you see the creatives, like, when you see everyone just, like, talking to each other and yeah. getting exciting and, like, 
collaborating with one yeah. another and like joining hey. bands yeah like, like yeah. Dang, i could have done that and i could have <laughs> done crazy. that that was such a good idea yes. and you see the sparks flying we're like okay this is this is what this is for yeah. this is what it's about so it's kind of like and it's so hard to know when to collaborate with people that a lot of yeah. people end up just shying away from the word collaboration mm-hmm. altogether. Mm-hmm. But collaboration can even look like, let me sit down and keep you accountable to like getting this done and getting you a client because I can't take this client. Do you want to use it? I trust your your expertise. Yeah. Like, um, Being willing we, to say, like, yeah. you do this better than me. You do this better like, than me. Like, Or can I learn this. from yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. And even like, well, I, I have too many clients or, you know, I don't feel comfortable taking the scope of this project, but do you mm. mind doing it for me? And like, we figure out a way that I can take it on next time. You know what I mean? So yeah. like collaboration is so important because YouTube University is great and all. But yeah. when you get in a room with other people and you're actually working together, I think that's when the true learning starts happening. And yeah. that's when everything kind of makes sense. And it becomes like just more experiential. Yeah. Like you you feel like you learn something. Yeah. Yeah. That's how innovation happens. Yeah. yeah. That's the teaching <laughs> coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also the artists are just the cool they're the coolest people in the room. Yeah. And, and I mean, like, yes. The biggest, yes. the biggest yeah. trick of the of it all is that the artists are gonna be like the least paid, the least yeah. like appreciated. Yes. So it's like you don't come to the function if the artists aren't at the function. Exactly. And once we figure Absolutely. that out, then one clap. Game over. Yeah. <laughs> one clap. Yeah. But what do you guys got going on? Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> everything. Yeah. Everywhere all at once. Yeah, yeah. we have everything everywhere all at <laughs> once. Um, um, yeah, what do you got going on? Man, okay, so, well, one thing I was about to say, and I don't think I can say it until we get everything solidified. What's going on? Okay, I'll say it anyway. So, oh, goodness, we were we supposed do it to have, <laughs> I was going to talk about Sound Gallery. So, oh, okay. oh, we yeah, were supposed okay. to have our Sound Gallery um, this upcoming Thursday. We've decided it to po- we've decided to mm-hmm. postpone it. We have mm-hmm. Barry, we have Eco the band, mm-hmm. we have Jansen, and we're going to do it bigger, bigger, bigger. So we're making ways to do our first mini festival um, in collaboration with our local mm-hmm. uh, community partners and organizations that have kind of supported us and kind of like a one year shebang, kind yeah, of like celebrate yeah. all the progress we've made in this one year. Um, and then also utilizing our community because there's a lot of entrepreneurs in our community that can do pop ups or like do interactive things that were there, whether it's from mm-hmm. dancing to just doing a live podcasting there to doing photo shoots on the spot. So really bringing these different types of artists together mm-hmm. and creatives and entrepreneurs together and on top of the festival. So it's like a lot going on at once. <laughs> wow. So we're like, if you guys are, if you guys are interested, <laughs> definitely uh, let us know if you would like to take part in mm-hmm. any area that you think you, you'd fit. Um, but we're really excited. So it's a good reason to postpone because yeah. we're like, you know what? We just got to go all in. Let's just do it. Let's yeah. just do it. So, yeah. yeah um, well, I'll tell you right off the rip. Yeah. I'm interested. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's go. go. So, one let's go. Yeah. It is. One clap, one person. Let's get it. This is my new thing now. We're just going to be in the studio. Like, yeah. Can yeah. I? Can we gift you? Like, what is it? The... the Oh, like the um, ah. oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we need to get clapper. You what it, the clapper. Is it really laser called that? I, I think. I mean, that's what I think that's clapper. what it's called. Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> I hope that's what it's called. I hope yeah. that's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> God, one clap. A whole bunch of different ideas are going through my head. I'm like, I don't yeah, know, I don't know, know what to call the clapper. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Um, that's oh word, right, that's word, word, word. Word. <laughs> and we're yeah, in Atlanta. Right? Oh gosh, a lot of craziness happens in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, in Kansas City too, man. Kansas City. I gotta too. lie. I've been yeah. feeling like I'm in the upside down. Yeah. Really? Like, he yes. Tell me more about time. that. I just like, He's like the people. random <laughs> things that are happening. Yes. Uh, um, the weather. Wolf suit. <laughs> he gets the, so mad the about the weather. The wolf suit robber. Oh, like, yeah. I'll start with that. Yeah. Yeah. Then the weather. I'm still yeah. mad. Ab- I'm not mad anymore. I'm in the clear. I wear shorts now, so mm-hmm. I'm feeling good. Okay. But, Don't say now. He wears shorts through the summer. It can I mean, through the winter. It can be you like can't negative, take me uh, out of that. Negative like, thirty-two. He's like timber and booty shorts. <laughs> like, Whoa! No. Nobody said anything about booty shorts. <laughs> Nobody said that. Okay. I'm just right. saying, man. The weather can't control you. Uh, you uh, you adjust. You control. Yeah. You. Okay. But um, yeah, it's just a lot of crazy things. Oh, like all these bank robberies, like yeah. just like everywhere. Oh, it's man. getting crazy. Yeah. I I've been saying that Kansas City has mm-hmm. this like kind of quirk where it's just. 
things happen yeah. in like weird odd ways that yes. are also like feel like a TV show. Yeah, it does. A it, lot of it, it does. definitely does. The yes, Truman show a little bit, but uh, a little yeah. bit. Where's my camera? Yeah, <laughs> there it, is. it really does feel like. Oh my gosh, have you seen the one with uh, Will Ferrell where he has like the? Um... Oh, the there's a lady narrating his life. Oh, and I she's know gonna kill him. About. Like, yeah. yeah, I haven't seen it, but I know which one. Yeah, yeah. and then really they end good. up meeting. He's yeah. like, "You're gonna kill You're me. You're gonna kill me. <laughs> you better write my story." You gotta right. watch yeah. that one. That one's okay. like that's a, step a perfect up from bookstore Show. movie vibe. That's, yeah, it's wow. Cool bookstore there you go. Vibe, yeah. yeah. All right. I'll check it out for sure. Yeah. So you got the music festival, mini festival, mini festival. Yes, indeed. Is there anything else you'd want to advertise? Well, a few things we can't disclose. Wow. Whoa, yet. you're Spicy. dropping a hell of uh, non disclosures. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we can't <laughs> disclose. Um, but as always, like we have our courses that we offer at the AI Hub. Mm-hmm. Our members can get involved and members can have access to all mm-hmm. our free events. Mm-hmm. A lot of people love Pass the Ox, um, which is like artists, producers, like musicians coming together and collaborating playing their mm-hmm. unreleased music for each other like, like oh, and giving cool. real like real feedback advice, not like feedback. your friend in the car like this is sorry bro like, <laughs> it's real, real feedback, feedback you know cool. so yeah collaboration um we just had our hub talks event which was like incredible it was featuring Cynthia Fails and I'm excited about Jamoke the next guest crew. man we're not gonna say anything yeah. but I'm excited about the next yeah. guest so like, hub cool. talks yeah. we have like every other month and it's a mashup of Culture, music, and real um, attainability reaching conversation. So, okay. like, we try to say that we're we're bridging the attainability gap. Mm. So, um, like, a lot of people want to be like, I want to be the next, po- like, amazing book publisher out here. How do I get there? So, having these in-depth conversations mm-hmm. and then allowing the audience to ask their questions so they can get this feedback and really trying to figure out how to make it happen for themselves. So... We mm-hmm. really have like a lot of fun with Hub Talk. Oh yeah, um, that's, that's a awesome. favorite. And um, I'm doing like 20 push-ups a day. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, watch yeah. out! Here. Yeah. 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 Summer's coming. Yeah. Summer's right around Summer the corner. Is Sleeves Summer done. Is you know. Damn, here we go. Um, yeah. That's pretty good. I'm I'm illustrating a lot, man. I'll tell nice. you that much. Um, like enjoying it. Uh-huh. Um, I don't really do it for commission anymore. I just like like it. And I so love that. that's really been cool. good. He's self published. Nice. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Oh, like, you should have told us. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Oh, no, man. I want to hear oh, the no. orphan <laughs> age, man. Yeah. And I got to I gotta dive into it. Is there more here? Can I like get one? Yeah. Like, yeah. No, oh. you can get one. All right. Yeah. Well, we got the orphan age right here. Let's Let's do our go. own little stuff. All right. I got to get that one. Yeah. Do um, you have anything else? Yeah. I mean, we're also implementing new uh, youth programs. Mm. So that's big. We're doing Can that. I talk about yeah. that? No, we're, we're doing that. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> back when we were in Atlanta, we had started a program called Creative Control, mm. and it's pulling kind of our network of those who've been established in their industry and kind of giving hands on opportunities to our youth. So from music, <laughs> I'm getting too specific, oh, but man. photography and um, videography production mm-hmm. to um, illustration, animation. Mm-hmm. So basically everything that we provide at the hub, but it's going to be for the youth and it's going to be very hands-on intensive program. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. There it is. Um, awesome. So that it's yeah. already fleshed out. We're just kind of changing it a little bit for the yeah. demographic that we're in now mm-hmm. and just kind of... Um, making it more, providing more, even more resources mm. than we were before. Yeah. And it's, it's cool to say, like, we, like, started it, what was that, like, 2020? Like, that's when we were in the works. Mm. Yeah. But I'm no, glad it that way it, before um, then. it, like, yeah. took that long because it was just, like, so much to experience to kind of know what's useful, um, just looking at the trends of, like, mm-hmm. what can be provided and, like, what's a skill set that, you know, you can give to somebody and like, okay, now I really have a good idea of yeah. how I can like benefit them through this program. So yeah, I like how mm-hmm. you know it took time to think about. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, yeah. thanks so much for yeah. being on, you guys. Yeah. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. Probably have you guys on again. Oh, the more the more events you guys throw. So yeah, yeah there's uh, there's a little 
Uh, Tidbit there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Keep yeah. it going, and maybe you guys will get another episode. I love <laughs> maybe. It. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, we okay. broke some grounds yeah. today. I'm right? feeling yeah. well, Thanks so much. Congrats. This is the Thank AI you. Hub, Taylor and James. Yes. yes. Sir. Thank you, guys. Thank Taylor. you. One clap. Hey. One clap. <laughs> that was on so wide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>